Every day I bring you a fascinating stat brought to you by DraftKings, America's top-rated daily fantasy app. And today's fascinating stat is the number two, which is the number of players the New York Jets had at the beginning of this season who most people would have considered to be among the best in their position in the National Football League and well-known. And both of them have now made themselves difficult enough that they're getting themselves sent out of town. Jamal Adams has been traded away from the Jets, and Le'Veon Bell is now trying to do the same thing, putting up Twitter tantrums so he can get himself traded away from playing for the New York Jets. And Rich Samini, who covers the Jets for us, joins me for a brief moment here because I just want to get the insight on this. Samini is tired of hearing from me off the air because I'm constantly sending him notes about all of my frustrations. So, Rich, uh, the least I can do is allow you to you know, have this conversation with me on the air. What can you tell me about this situation with Le'Veon? Well, yeah, uh, Greeny, it kind of deteriorated the last couple of days. You know, uh, Le'Veon was obviously unhappy the way he was used in Sunday's game against Arizona and uh, didn't talk to the media after the game or yesterday, which is a violation of the league media policy. But he has used Twitter, as, as he's done in the past, and as Jamal did, as you noted. And he clearly wants out. And uh, I think the Jets are going to – I think they're very motivated to make that happen. Quite frankly, I think they've been motivated to do that for a year. This marriage has been on the rocks from day one when it became known that Adam Gase was not in favor of signing Le'Veon Bell. So it was really doomed from the start. I mean, the dysfunction of that is so overwhelming, it's almost impossible to put into words, and it's all I can do not to just scream or bite this microphone in front of me. So instead of that, I will just ask you a reasonable question, Rich, which is what, if anything, would you imagine someone is willing to trade for Le'Veon Bell right now? Well, I mean, you're talking about a running back who's, what, 28 years old now, who's averaged only 3.3 yards per carry over the last one and a quarter seasons. So there's not a great demand for a player like that. Plus, he's got $6 million guaranteed remaining on this year's contract. So it's going to take some creativity. Uh, the Jets will probably have to eat a lot of that money. I would guess probably they might be willing to eat half of it to send him away, uh, and then the other team would pick up the other $3 million. Even that's a lot of money for a team to pick up for a running back of that ilk. So maybe they have to include some draft choices in it to try to sweeten the deal. But I think the best the Jets could get is probably a late-round pick, which is kind of unbelievable when you think about it. But – I think they'd be willing to pay money to send him away and only get a late round pick in return, which really is quite telling. It is. Again, it is telling enough that when the show ends in four minutes, I'm going to smash my head into a wall. But rather than do that now, I will ask you another reasonable question, which is for all the fans out there who might be wondering if they want Le'Veon Bell on their team, is there any way to tell you're closer to much closer to the situation than I am what he still has left, which is to say he's gotten to show almost none of it but in my view, he's been very uncreatively used, and they have a terrible offensive line. Um, so I don't think he's really had the ability to show anybody what he still has left. Is there any way to know what he still has left? Can he help a team if he winds up somewhere else this year? I think he's clearly lost a step from his last season in Pittsburgh. He doesn't have that burst anymore. You saw it on the, four, the third and one play when they tried to run him outside on Sunday. He didn't have the speed to get to the corner. So he is not the same Le'Veon Bell. I agree with you. They could have utilized him more in the passing game because he has a unique skill set. When he's split out, he's almost like a wide receiver. And I think that has been underutilized. But in terms of just being a runner, I think he's got to get to a team with a really good offensive line. Maybe he goes back to Pittsburgh. He didn't know how good he had it there. You know, he wanted to get out and chasing the money. And he really left a really comfortable situation there in Pittsburgh. He needs a good offensive line because he does not make players miss anymore. And so he needs as much help as he can get. All right, we'll see where he winds up. Rich, tell the truth. When you see the, t when, when you when your phone vibrates and you see the text is for me do you or do you not roll your eyes no i, I kind of expect them <laughs> on the, the fantasy stuff my suggestion my fantasy tip for this week would probably not to play bell <laughs> i think i think uh, lamichael p ryan is going to have a much bigger role going forward. Uh, well so we all have that to look forward to thank you very much rich samini i appreciate it we will check in again that's my friend rich samini who covers the jets extremely well has covered them for a very long time and, and look, Le'Veon Bell, let's, let's try and, and make this something that everyone will be interested in. Le'Veon Bell, when he 
when last seen on an actual NFL team, was a more productive receiver than Chris Carter or Michael Irvin and a more productive runner than O.J. Simpson. He was both a Hall of Fame receiver and a Hall of Fame runner. The question is, what, if any of that, does he have left? And the answer is, obviously, I don't know. I agree with Rich's assessment that when you watch him, he just doesn't look right. He doesn't look like the unstoppable player that we've seen him be in the past. But who knows if he, um, how much of that is the way he's being utilized, how much of it is a terrible offensive line, how much of it is an offensive philosophy that, I don't I mean, I don't even know what it is. To call it a philosophy would be an insult to offensive philosophy everywhere. Um, I don't know, but I guess what I'm saying is if you hear that your team is considering trading for Le'Veon Bell, my honest opinion is if all you get have to give up is like a fifth or sixth round pick for him, I would do it. If I'm a good team this year and you get a motivated Le'Veon Bell to come in there, I, I think he helps you make a difference. He may not be the superstar that he once was, but I think he makes a difference for your team. I think you should be happy if you hear your team has traded for Le'Veon Bell. We'll see if that happens. Trade deadline's a few weeks away. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.